Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I hope you're all enjoying the long weekend for Labor Day. Uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having fun, but doing it safely. If you're out at any of the, uh, the numerous parties that go on over the weekend, make sure you watch the drinking and driving. Um, but uh, you don't need me to lecture you about that, but I, I feel obligated to anyway. So on to, to actually, you know what? Before we uh, get to tonight's question, I want to just give you guys a, a recommendation for a book that I find that I have found incredibly interesting. You know, I'm a political junkie, and I learned so much from this book. It's called uh, Dark Money, The Hidden History of the Billionaires Behind the Rise of the Radical Right. Phenomenal book. Um, so if you're into political reading and all of that, pick yourself up a copy. You will not regret it. I mean, I was just kind of floored by some of the things that I learned in this book. Now, um, on to tonight's question, which is from Paul. He says, hey, Mark, I'd like to get your advice about how to uh, better express myself to my boyfriend. We have been together for a while and living together for about seven months. He recently asked me if I'm as serious about him as he is about me, and that made me feel really bad. He's my dream guy, smart, honest, dependable, and uh, all the things that I could want. Paul, you're a lucky one. I think we all want that. I take him out for a I take him out for surprise dates and bring him little gifts, but self-admittedly, I'm not very expressive. Any tips for how to make sure he knows I care for him as much as he does about me? Well, Paul, sounds like you got a good one. I'll, I'll tell you, if he ever leaves you, you better go with him, because uh, there's not many out there like that. So good for you. Um, hmm. So I think what we have here is a case of two people who express and perceive love differently. So, you know, the interesting thing is actually that I'm probably more similar to you in the sense that I'm not, when, when it comes to you know, conversations about love and romance and feelings and all of that. My personality lends itself to doing doing things that kind of demonstrate my affection versus verbalizing it. So, and, and that's not just for romantic relationships. I mean, I've been single for six and a half years now, so. But, um, you know, even with my sister, for example, uh, or, or, or my brother or my nieces and nephews, you know, I love taking them out for dinner. I love buying the kids presents. I love ordering my sister kitchen appliances and having them show up at her house as a surprise. You know, one time I sent her like a mixer and knives and a food processor and, you know, just a ton of stuff. I was just on Amazon and I thought, oh, she would like this, this, that, 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 that. And uh, that's kind of how I show love. But I'm not one to sit down and have this look in each other's eyes moment and we talk about every feeling we've ever had since we've known each other. That said, it is important to recognize, you know, my ex-partner, for example, who I'm very close with, uh, was more similar to your partner. So this is actually something I've dealt with firsthand. I'll tell you something that I had to learn pretty quickly which is don't get offended if somebody if the person says hey do you really care about me i'm a little concerned it's not an attack against you or your feelings you you have to remember that they they perceive love different differently than you express it so don't be offended by this don't be worried about it but you occasionally will have to step outside your comfort zone so Next time you do one of these nice little, you know, dinner dates or uh, whatever it is you do, instead of just talking, you know, getting into the conversation and talking about the goings on of the day or the week, take the first five or ten minutes and just tell him what you told me in this email. How much you appreciate having him in your life, how much better your life is with him, why you care about him so much because he's honest and dependable and all that good stuff and then move on you know you don't want to spend 20 minutes going on and on about this because it's not it won't come natural to you and it seems forced 
So step outside your comfort zone a little bit so that you can express your love in a way that he's more capable of recognizing, but don't make it seem forced or fake. Um, there's a really wonderful book called, uh, I think the five love languages or the five language of languages of love. I can't remember the author off the top of my head, but I read it maybe uh, 10 years ago. And it really did stuck, stick with me. And it does a really good job of explaining what it is that I'm talking about, how people perceive and express love in multiple ways. And so I would say pick yourself up a copy of that book, read it, and then give it to your partner. There is some really invaluable advice. It's one of the best relationship books I think I've ever read. So, unfortunately, I can't remember the exact name, but I, I think it's the, uh, the five love languages or the five languages of love. So look for it on Amazon. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, I'll give you one more example to help to help clarify it. You know, many of you, many of us know uh, we've we've had a male figure in our lives, whether it be a grandfather, an uncle, uh, a father. That's the strong, silent type. They're not the kind to come around and say, "Oh, son, I love you, son. You're the greatest." But you know, if you call them, they're there for you. They've always got your back. And it doesn't mean they don't love you deeply and they don't care about you. They just express it differently. So there you go, Paul. I hope that helps you. Look for that book. Uh, if you feel like dropping me an email to let me know how the conversation goes, please do so. Guys, thank you for watching. And uh, if you're whether you're on markdillon.com or you're on my YouTube channel, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I would really love to get to 50,000 subscribers sooner than later, and if you can help me out, I will be forever grateful. Uh, thanks. You guys enjoy your weekend.